Hello and happy Friday. Today is December 3rd um, and it is my third day of vlogging. Is that right? I feel like it's the fourth, but um, I think it's the third and I'm burning up right now because it is, I believe it's 70 degrees. So I'm just standing here because I wanted to show you my outfit. My bed's not made and Buddy is taking a nap on it with some laundry. But um, I'm just wearing some jeans from Banana Republic. These sh shoes that I've had from Target for a while. And this sweater, which is kind of hot. But I'm like, when can I wear a sweater t-shirt? And that time has to be now, I guess. Because I'm like, I don't want to wear regular clothes. So I'm going to wear this uh, sweater from Nordstrom. I have no idea what kind it is. Doing that in the mirror is really hard. But I'm going to... Uh, Bath and Body Works to pick up a gift and I guess it's candle day. So I might have to wait in a big line. I feel like I'm anticipating something crazy. Um, I really don't want any candles but I'll probably buy some. So we're gonna go see what that is. I don't have much time because I got to pick the kids up from school so let's go. I've never been... I don't have enough time for this. I spent all morning doing a ton of laundry and then I had to take a shower and blow dry my hair and I don't do that. That's not a regular thing. So that took a while. But we're going to go see if we can get in and get out in time. Uh, this does not look good. It looks like I'm parked on a sinkhole. I'm probably going to come out here and my freaking vehicle is going to be swallowed up. <sighs> Gosh, Armal really sucks. <laughs> All right, I'm like pulling on my hair, trying to straighten it out. Um, it's just, I don't like it today. I could not film in there. It was just too crazy. It was like elbow to elbow people and I just didn't want to be like out filming. I would just be filming all the people and that's just probably not a good idea. So yeah, biggest candle day sale of the year, I guess. Um, 10.95. Someone's hair is in here and it's not mine. 10.95 for candles, which is a great deal. And I only picked out one candle. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I didn't like any of the candles. I was not in a candle mood. I've been just getting other candles that I like. What is this? Oh, I got this for a gift, which I feel like I shouldn't show gifts on here. Um, it's for my niece. She'll probably watch this, uh, but she did tell me what to get her, but she didn't tell me to get this candle. Um, whew, that's strong. So hopefully she likes it. It's the um, body care stuff that she asked for. It's into the night. So um, I got that. And then my candle, that I picked out is super boring. It's laundry day and it's blue. Like what? And it's got a scratch on it. Literally, it's got a scratch on it and it's blue. I dislike blue. Mm, but it just smells like a freaking fresh laundry room, which is a super kind of generic scent. Um, there was a linen one, but I don't know. I just wanted this candle for some reason. I wouldn't pay uh, $24.50 or $26.50 for it, but $10.95, okay, I'll buy that. That's what I got, that's it. So boring, right? I got some body care. Um, so like I said, I got um, the into the night stuff for her. Um, and then for me, I decided to try this, which I don't know. I, I buy Bath and Body Works and then I spray it once and hate it. So, um, but the aesthetics of this packaging, I mean, look, gorgeous. And oh my gosh, it matches my nails. Look how beautiful. Um, this smelled really good. I guess it's new. They had a really big display of it. It's called Pure Wonder and its fragrance notes are Iced Rosé, Star Jasmine, and Warm White Amber. Ooh, so that sounds interesting. I got the um, the Moisturizing Body Wash. So, um, 
I don't know. I think the body wash will smell really good. Lotion. I got the body cream. Um, doesn't have a huge scent, but I need to put on um, lotion. This is the actually moisturizing, hydrating body cream. And then I don't know. Why did I get this? The spray? I'm not, I'm not big on the body sprays. Let me spray it. I mean, it smells good, but I don't know. It's so much pressure when you go in there because it's like, you buy these, you get these free, and all the sales and the coupons, and then it just makes me buy more, so great marketing because I do buy more. Got my apron on. I am doing some dishes uh, before I do anything else or I'm basically just refilling the dishwasher. I don't know what is wrong with my hair today. It's huge. Maybe because it's um like 75 degrees. It's supposed to be Christmassy. But yeah, 75 degrees today, so it feels really good, but I like wearing wintry clothes. I don't think I'm making anything for dinner tonight. I have no idea what I would even make. I'm over it. I made dinner all week. <clears throat> I should probably not wash this wood stuff in the dishwasher. So from washing dishes and stuff, I'll show you what my sink looks like. Let me see. There's like scuff marks in it. So I am going to uh, use this barkeeper's friend powder and then I just sprinkle it in and you don't want the sink wet or it just kind of washes away you use the grittiness of it to uh, well now my things got it on there I don't want to grit you can use a rag or whatever it doesn't take any elbow grease it just gets it Right out. That's how I keep this sink up. Nice and pretty. I'm going to make a target order really quick so that hopefully it'll get done before my husband comes home from work. All right, I am home from TJ Maxx. This has been a boring day, but this is why I don't film in the evening because everyone is so loud. But I'm gonna show you what I picked up. I got two of these wrapping papers. So I'm gonna unwrap the green present and wrap a present with this white stuff. And then um, I have a few presents that I'm gonna ship out. So I'll probably use the rest of the green wrapping paper for that. And then I'll just try and do a few presents in this to see if I like it. Um, but I still need um, like a big roll of wrapping paper. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. And then <clears throat> I just got a few things for myself. I was looking for like a holiday themed shirts and stuff and they had some vests and skirts and dresses and I tried a few on but I just wasn't feeling anything. But I was feeling this pink robe with the fur trim collar. My battery just went dead, and I don't think that I addressed this, but I'm wearing a mismatched sweatsuit because I grabbed Mexican on the way home, brought it home for us to eat, and I just put on the first thing that I found. And this shirt is hilarious. It says, ravioli, ravioli, give me the formula. <laughs> 
So if you know what that says, or if you know what that's from, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> My back to this robe, which is fabulous. It is pink fur with the fur trim collar. It's just so luxurious. I am obsessed with robes. I have so many of them. They had a really cute Christmas one that said Santa baby, uh, but it was a short robe and I don't care for the short robes because every time I put on a robe, I'm usually cold. So um, I like the long ones and this was $24.99. And then also with the pink stuff, I got this beanie and look at that pom pom ball. That is the biggest pom-pom ball I've ever seen. Oh my God, it's huge. Let me show you. Okay. Oh. So big, it won't even fit in the frame. <gasps> Look at that, woo. I wish I could wear beanies every day, like all year round. I love them. This was $14.99, super adorable. Love that pom-pom ball. <clears throat> and then I just got a couple, and then I just got a couple pair of earrings, and I don't even really wear earrings, um, but I thought these would be cute for Christmas. These bobble bar snowflake earrings, they are absolutely, oh, adorable, but one of the snowflake things is broke off. And it is in the bag. What a rip off. I'm so sad about that. How? I mean, I don't know what to do about that. Should I return these? Or should I try to glue it back together? They'd probably fall off while I was wearing it. These are so cute too. And they were $12.99. So I mean, yeah. Thanks Bobble Bar for making quality products. Well, there goes the snowflake earrings. I do have another option for an earring. Um, they're CNC California. They're in a nice protective box, and they were $9.99, and you get this shiny box. So these aren't getting broken, but they are like gold gift bows. How adorable are those? I am so bummed about these snowflake ones. They were adorable. They didn't have another pair. I mean, I really just, the metal has snapped. I didn't even do anything. They put them in my bag. I put the bag in my trunk, drove home, got them out, and here we are. They broke that easily. I started to say, I surely didn't buy them like that, and I didn't. I don't know what the, return policy is when something breaks in the bag on the way home but i don't know what i'm going to do about that but that's it that's all i got very anticlimactic i showed you the wrapping paper right um so yes i'm gonna go wrap a few presents and see how this new wrapping paper looks and then we're gonna call it a night are you sure this male gift is for me it's a, it's a gift it's a real gift you're not having me wrap up some piece of paper, are you? Did you buy me one of those stars? What? A piece of land in Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> it feels lightweight, like a pair of gloves. Is it gloves? <laughs> I literally, I, I shook it. it. Is it gonna break if I shake it? So it's not one of those cute, like little, ro those little teddy bears made out of roses. Yeah. Probably something utilitarian. <laughs> so I got the same wrapping paper that I got last year, and I'm going to 
wrap the gifts that were supposed to be green in it. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is pouring. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I wanna hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand you had me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas in my Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times So you don't miss out on the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.